Hi everyone. This is a reading for the Aquarius Collective. Um, if you have ordered a personal reading from me, I am working on them, so don't worry. Um, you'll either get your reading late tonight or you'll have a little update on where I am with your reading, all right? I want to know what the issue is, please, for the Aquarius Collective. Oh, here we go. Ooh, and look at this. All right. The issue, I believe, um, first of all, is a very um, key event, a point in time, something. Um, I, I believe it was a choice. All right. Um, the problem is, I think, is that this was, there was something that was supposed to happen. Some, there was a choice that was supposed to be made. Um, Spirit sort of already had a plan. And um, somebody, somebody um, made a choice that was not in conformity with that plan. All right? That's the issue. I'm just going to leave that lit there and we'll let the lovers uh, stay inside the deck. Um, the challenge, please, for the Aquarius Collective. The challenge, please. The challenge. What is challenging the Aquarius Collective about this choice that I think somebody made? And essentially they chose wrong. All right, the challenge, yeah. Well, isn't this ironic? We've got the card of challenge. The two of stones. This is akin, or the same as the two of pentacles. It's Jupiter in Capricorn. Um, you know, it looks like a boxing match. I am seeing, um, I'm seeing two people, all right. Uh, you know, generally, this is indecision. Um, perhaps your person, this choice, this decision was challenging to them because of indecision. You know, these rabbits look the same, don't they? I think your person had an inability. One is authentic, and the other is a copycat. The other is a, you know, reasonable facsimile, but it's not the real thing. And I, I feel like they, they accidentally chose, whoa, the copycat. They may have married them. There's the ancestor. That's a commitment. You know, yeah, it's a marriage. It's something traditional. So at what they may have, I think what happened um, was the overriding, obviously, energy here. It, it's, uh, this is also conformity. So what they may have done um, is allowed this choice uh, to be ruled by, um, you know, the law of the day. You know, but the problem is, guys, is the law of the day is not always the right one. It's not always the ethical one. It's not always spiritually correct. Obviously, here it wasn't. Um, if you think of Paul, uh, the apostle who actually knew Jesus of Nazareth, unlike uh, the uh, four apostles Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John who lived after Jesus and never even met him and claimed to know what he was talking about. Um, Paul said there's a difference between righteousness in law and righteousness in faith. Because what, what spirit is interested in, obviously, is righteousness from the heart, not in law. The laws are sometimes wrong. If the laws were always right, uh, you know, then all of the commanders of Hitler who uh, obeyed his orders to gas, you know, 
uh, a, a Jewish people simply because of their race, then, then they were ethically correct. Now just imagine, of course the laws are not always correct. That's why, that's why good people sometimes go to jail. Now, your person was too stupid to realize that he had to choose. He, he, he or she was supposed to choose um, from the heart, you know, not from the ruling law of the day. Six of stones, exploitation, yes. I, be, I mean, this is um, moon in Taurus. This is a disingenuous person who, who you know, wants everyone to think that they're being charitable and giving, you know, to these people uh, who need something, but really he's exploiting them. His money is tied up in, in whatever giving he's doing. It's, it's also a card of giving to two and one person is being terribly neglected. <coughs> Recent past, please. Recent past, please. Don't worry, that wheel is going to come around, I, if it hasn't already. Recent past, wow, is the tower. Uh, have a look at what it looks like in the wildwood. It's called the blasted oak. So in the recent past, something very unexpected has happened. Um, I, what I believe that it is, I mean, you can see the lightning there. Um, or can you hang on now? Yeah, up there. See where I'm pointing. Um, <clears throat> sometimes it's a realization, a sudden realization. I just want to get a clarifying card. What is the blasted oak of the recent past, please? What is the blasted oak for the recent past? A decision. What is the decision, please? The two of wands. Thank you. Has to do with you. Um, so I think your person um, has had a massive, uh, a, a, you know, earth-shattering um, realization about a decision that they made about you. I think it, it was here. They may have chosen the reasonable facsimile, the fake, what they thought was an exact replica. But you see, there is no exact replica of Aquarius. My goodness. Now let's see the near future, please. It's coming up in the near future, please. Near future, please. Just a moment now. Near future, please. We have to get this exactly. Oh, wow, two things. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. Two uh, <laughs> incredible energies. Um, first, we start with Five of Stones, which is Five of Pentacles. And I'll tell you, I love this card in this deck. I mean, this is where somebody is going through loss, loss of money. Everything has been taken away from this young woman. Look at her. But yet she found shelter for herself. She built herself a little fire. She knew how to make a fire. Um, look, at, look at her... Um, her little uh, stick there, and she managed to do her hair and makeup. She looks pretty darn good. Anyway, she's enduring. She endured that, and look at the lightning that is not bothering her, because she already knew whatever it was that this person back there was, you know, having a, a tower moment over. But just look at the card that came out with it. It's the Ten of Stones. It's the Ten of Pentacles. Mercury in Virgo. I think that she, she knows, you know, that everything that she wants is there. Just look at what's etched in that stone there. there there's a woman and a man. She knows that that's in the works for her. She's doing just fine. Just fine. Now, let's see the tools. We still don't know what that wheel is, but we're going to find out. What are the tools, please? I'm not even saying tools for Aquarius because I believe that... Whoa, this is about you and your person. <laughs> the tools. Um, it's called clearance. It's the seven of bows. It's the same thing. 
um, as Mars in Leo, um, the idea, you know, in this card, um, I mean, I always say clear the area, um, but I feel that the idea of this card, especially Mars and Leo, is to stand your ground. Stand your ground. There is a fire there, and there's a lot of smoke going up toward the sky. Same thing with the fire that you built. Just have a look at this. In the card of endurance, have a look at where the smoke from the fire is going. And I want you to look at... I mean, you could be back here. That could be your little fire up there, you know. And so this person may be coming to pick a fight with you again, you know. But you're going to stand your ground. They've got an axe, you know, and all these very, very, um, you know, they've been sharpening these bows. You've got nothing. But I'll tell you what, the word endurance is what you have. And you've got that... Um, insight with the lightning there. I mean, I see that the energy, the strongest energies that are influencing this situation from the outside, so this is not from you, what's influencing the situation from the outside, please? What is the strongest influence from the outside on this whole situation? What is going on? What is, ooh, sorry. What is influencing the situation? From the outside, what is the strongest influence on this whole situation? And I'm getting a very loud ringing in my left ear. Wow. What happened? Put quite simply, this is the Ten of Arrows. It's the Ten of Swords. It is Sun and Gemini. It's also a card of betrayal, though. And do you see the word instruction? Do you see how that man is tilting that young person's elbow? And how the hand, you know, is right there, and they're showing them exactly who to shoot and where to shoot and when to shoot. And, you know, we trust this man because he appears to look wise. You know, he must have a lot of wisdom. Your person got some instruction from somebody who really wanted you dead, literally. Ten arrows in your back. And your person fell for it. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. You know, pick that replica, that reasonable facsimile thereof. It was no, it was no reasonable facsimile. It was a fake. It was a fake. 13.13 on the clock I just saw. Death, death, transformation, transformation. What are um, the hopes and fears here? Give me the strongest energy. These may not be yours. These could be your person's. What are, ho what are the hopes and fears, please? What are the hopes and fears? I feel like it's going to be related to that bloody wheel. Just a moment. <laughs> Your person is on their hands and knees every night praying for an ace of stones, new beginning, a new chance, a fresh start. I think their biggest fear is that you'll get one or that you were one. They passed it up, you know, because they thought it was, they thought they could just get a replica of you. Just for spite, just for spite. Outcome. <laughs> boredom. This is what's going to happen if, if you go back with this person. You'll be bored to tears. And you know who this is? This is that fake, that fake replica that they chose. This is how she feels now. This is how she feels because, you know, she thought that she was going to destroy you, that she was going to watch you know, you suffer and, and cry and whine and stamp your feet. You don't care. I mean, you might have been hurt. But certainly, you don't stoop to her level. You know, and that word boredom, I'll tell you what that also represents. 
your person's feelings with the fake. Your person is bored to tears. She's a drag. This person has nothing to say. No innovative ideas. Nothing. You know what she's saying? What am I going to do now? <sighs> oh, I hope we can... Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, we can't go out for dinner. This is a whining, complaining nightmare that they chose. Out of spite. Out of spite. Out of spite. Clarify the boredom card, that whining, complaining, fake, what was supposed to be a reasonable facsimile of you. Clarify boredom. Clarify the four of cups. She's probably hung over, too. She probably drank your person's alcohol. She's probably... <laughs> I feel like this is you. Uh, uh, what we have here, and uh, this could also be your person. You could be involved with the Capricorn. So this would be uh, Sun and Capricorn. It's the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Stones. But in this card, it's called Protection. And I think that that's you there. Fully, totally, completely completely protected by spirit. Look at that shelter that's over you right now. You see, they thought that they could really shake up your life, but they're the ones that experience the tower. They're the ones who are bored to tears right now. They're the ones having the boxing match. I do want to come back to this wheel. What was this wheel what was the wheel? It was the issue. It was an event. It was a plan that was supposed to have occurred, but it was also something that your person did to defy the plan, I feel. What was the wheel? Well, it's it right there. Six of arrows, transition. Somebody departed, and I don't think it was you. Somebody decided to just leave. Maybe your person moved, left the area, you know, left you, created a mess for you, and left you on that Five of Swords shore. But somebody left, and they weren't supposed to. This wasn't supposed to happen. I want to find out why they left. Why did this person leave? And they're alone in the boat. You know, just have a look at your person. They left, probably, um, you know, secretly, privately, quietly, and you found out about it later. And there's, and see the full moon? There's a, there's a lot of, um, you know, mystery around why they left. I was just trying to figure out what's, what is that up there on the cliff. I th I, I'm not sure what it is, but anyway. Um, why did they leave? What's, why did they pull a six of arrows? Why did this person leave? Why did this person leave? Why did this person leave and defy the plan? <sighs> I mean, it's possible uh, that this other person that they went toward, this, you know, this, this, uh, you know, copycat may have guilted them into thinking that your person, you know, had some responsibility or some something they owed the other person. It is the Ten of Wands, though, and it's something that weighs down on this person. This person is very challenged by that weight. What was so challenging? that they had to leave. What was so challenging? What was the weight? There was something pressing down on them. This caused them to leave. What was pressing down on this person? What did they, or something they felt responsible for? <coughs> All right. I'm just going to read exactly what I'm seeing. There was a giant bloody secret over this. I've got the seer. This is the high priestess. But I feel like this is you. And I just look, I feel like you kind of know 
that there's something that you don't know, something is very wrong. I think that your person was up to no good. There was a whole lot of, here's the shaman, tricks, trickster, manipulating, dominant. Something was about to happen. Uh, it Perhaps they meant to expose you. Maybe, uh, maybe they expected that the tower was for you and they wanted to get out of the area before it happened. You know, the Eight of Wands here, maybe they were all celebrating and waiting, you know, for, uh, for you to be exposed. There was something sneaky and, and bad that had, um, that had been planned. They may have wanted to plan your ending. You know, you got the world there. Um, there is a giant lie, a Seven of Swords lie associated with why they left and what was weighing down on them. You know, and I think for this reason, it exhausted them. This is the Four of Swords. This is going to jail. This is sometimes dying, going to the hospital. I think that whatever they did to you, it weighed down on them so badly. They had no choice but to hit the road and get out of Dodge. You know? Um... <clears throat> Something that they did must have caused you trouble because it, the, sun, the tower did impact you somehow. You experienced some kind of a loss, whether that this was monetary um, or in love or reputation job-wise. I mean, you did, you did get, you got hit. You took a hit. You looked damn good and you survived, uh, you know, very well. And you have survival skills, endurance. You know, and there's no way, there's no way that you caused anyone else trouble. Uh, you know, uh, other people. You, I believe also that you might have been exploited. They might have tried to exploit you. You know, they took shots at you, got instructions. You know, they cleared the area, you know, thinking, okay, now Aquarius is going to get exposed. I might as well get out of here, you know, until the smoke clears. You know, and what they were expecting in the end, I believe what they expected to be able to do is get together with all their cronies, whatever they were up to, um, these nuisance troublemakers, these jackasses, excuse my language, they thought they were going to have this big celebration, you know, after they got to expose you, and not because you were doing anything wrong, because there's something that you're doing that's right. People don't like the fact that you're happy. This is, this is how this happens. This is how people get targeted. So instead of having these big party, this never happened. This is what they thought was going to happen. Ha, 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 Look. I'll tell you where they are right now. They're stuck at home with this old sock. This uh, dried up. Maybe they married a, a model, you know, look, you know, this person looks like they, they are very hungover, but in the daytime, you know, they might be a very attractive person, you know, models, you know, I'll tell you something about models, I've lived with them, you know what, they have terrible uh, hygiene, they really do, they really do, you know, and, and you, they look great, you know, when they're getting these uh, photo shoots done, and when they open their mouths, <laughs> You ask them their opinion on something, well, you know, is what they say. You know, that's, now I'm sorry, but that's what, you, that's what you think that your person is, is, uh, is in the high, in living the high life? They're, they're dealing with this every day. Bad breath, bad hygiene, messy as heck. Uh, you ever drive a, in a model's car? It's like somebody died in it. This is what their hygiene is like, you know. Get rid of this person, Aquarius. I'm sorry. Um, sorry uh, if you're a model. Uh, hopefully you know what I'm talking about because about 95% of them are like this. Maybe you're not. Probably not. But anyway, look, Aquarius. <laughs> Let me get one last card for your outcome. Your outcome, all right? Just for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? 2444 is an important number. I don't know why. 444. What else did we see today? 1313 and 1717, I think. Empowerment. 
hang on, this is a bit phallic. I do believe that somebody is very attracted to you, of course, hang on. Whatever, whatever, uh, whatever um, experience you went through here, um, it, has, it has empowered you and made you look very attractive to others. Um, show me, show me, uh, clarify the outcome here for Aquarius, please. Clarify the outcome here for Aquarius. Please give me a card that I can actually show without getting in trouble. Oh, wow. <coughs> You've earned the respect. You've earned the respect. I know that's kind of a scary looking character. Uh, from everyone. Wow. Um, I believe that, you know, those two bunnies that were boxing each other. Well, here you are. There's only one, obviously. You know, and you're coming out as the queen of wands. And what I think here this means is this person is very intuitive. Queen of bows, the hair. Um, very intuitive. Um, very tuned in with her environment very independent and very capable. I also believe that, look at this, nine of vessels. You are going to get your wish, all right? A Pisces could be important. I think you're also, you know, embodying that um, genie in the bottle uh, characteristics. And look at this. Look at what, finally, what's coming in for you. Um, so here is this, this pentacle now being given to you. This is where it ought to have went in the first place. This is the Lynx page of stones. It's akin to the page of pentacles. So an earth sign could be coming to you with an offer. But whoever it is bringing this offer to you, um, this is meant to go to the Ten of Pentacles. Congratulations, Aquarius. Um, especially for your endurance and for not being boring, <laughs> and for having good hygiene. Okay, have a great night, guys.